Hello, welcome to Trisha's Cards and Crafts and my Monday Makes session. Today we've got another card sketch challenge and I'll just um, pop this up for you and then we'll get on with making the card. See you in a moment. Alright, so here we go. I've got a 5 by 7 card blank and I'm using some of this, um, it's got, it's double sided and it's foiled, speciality paper, I think it's an online exclusive, it's tartan foil 12 by 12 speciality pa paper and it's in copper clay, lost lagoon and pebbled path, they're all the same design, they're just different colours and I thought I would use the um, lost lagoon colour for this one. I'm use, I've got that and that piece is four inches by five inches. I've got a piece of white which is going to be my um, piece that I'm going to stamp on and that is three inches by four inches. I've got two strips of an inch wide and they're um, a quarter of a piece of of a width so it's four and one eighth inch but it doesn't have it doesn't matter about the length really because all we're going to see is the bottom bit and another piece that's uh, one and a half inches <laughs> and that and this piece is um, pebbled path and that's the bit that's going to go across the top there like that so I think that will go let me see my yeah that's going to come I need to cut, I think I might need to cut a bit off this. So that's going to come down here like that. And that's going to go up there. But I think I might need another piece. A little bit, just a little bit wide, bigger than that. So that's three by four. So I'll just add another piece of the Lost Lagoon, which will be three and one eight by four and an eighth. So it will just give whoops, um, a small border around that like so. That will go there and then these are going to be um, fishtailed and come at the bottom. So that's what those are for. I might cut that to be an inch as well. I'll see how it goes first. Right, so that's the card design. Now what I'm going to put on it, I'm using some sentiments i'm using the happy birthday and hope your day is a happy one for the inside that's on the outside and i'm using everyday detail sorry that was from the so sincere stamp set and this one is the everyday details and i'm using this image here so i thought i'd do a birthday card um with this set for this design okay let's get on and make it then. So first of all I think I might do my stamping and then we'll sort out all the pieces and get it made up. So I'm going to use some Memento Tuxedo Black Ink for my image and I'm going to put that here. And it is on the one side because I'm going to have my happy birthday on this side. There we go. And I I think I'll carry on and use the black for this as well. Happy birthday. Should be nicely inked up now, and I'm going to put this along this side. There we go, and then we just need to colour it in. Now I'm going to use some Lost Lagoon for the foliage, and I've got some Orchid Oasis and Fresh Freesia blends to colour the flowers in. So let's do. I'll use the light and I don't know whether I'm going to shade it or not yet. We'll have a look and see what it looks like without. 
and then on my tags and and I'm using the lost legume because I thought I'm using it on the card as well so it might look be good to blend all the colors in together but I'm not going to colour the lead, the petals in all the flowers with the uh, pebbled path because I don't think that would look particularly great. So just carry on and colour these petals in. The leaves in, I should say, not petals. There we go. So that's all my foliage done. I um, don't know. Maybe I will put a little bit of um, dark in as well, just along the centres of the leaves. There we go. That's enough. I think I might just colour in the flowers as well. With the dark lost lagoon. And when you're colouring in with alcohol markers, you don't have to worry too much about the um, the direction that you go in. I mean, some in some cases it does make a difference, but even if you go in different directions, you don't tend to get the lines like you do with a, a marker pen. Okay, now for the flowers, and I will do these in, do the light one on this with maybe a dark centre. One big one. We have the darker in the middle. And then I will go, I will do the darker, the lighter one in the center of these. And I'll just blend those in slightly. And then let's go back over those again. And then I'm going to go around to the outsides with a darker one. I've had to have some new lenses in my um, glasses and I'm trying to get used to them. <laughs> it's a little bit slightly different than they used to be. Um, it doesn't make that much difference. And then I'm going to use some of this Orchid Oasis and I'm going to do the centres and I'm also going to just do that on the bottom of the pot. Um, I'm going to do these little flowers with the darker colour. There we go. And I think I might just do the, just try and put a tiny dot in the centre of them. There we go, that's all I want. There we go. So that's my um, topper, as such, for my card. So let's put this together now. So I'll put these out of the way a moment. Close that. And then these my working area a little bit bigger again. Right. So let's have a go putting this together. So I'm going to cut up to the centre so far. Oh, that's the centre. 
and then from each side into that point. There, like that. So I've done that one. I have got a punch that will do it, but we don't sell it anymore, so I'm not going to use it for this card. And from the opposite corner to the centre, and do the same thing on this one. I don't want it to be any further up than that one. So, I want to get them so that they're the same. Hang on. Still doesn't look as though it's up quite as high as the other one was. But that can be rectified. There we go. Oops. Didn't quite get there with that one. There we go. So we've got two of those. This goes on the back of here. Don't need those pieces. So right, we can put this, stick this all together. And we can use this. Just have a very small margin around the outside of this. And then I'm going to put that across there, but I'll put this one down first. Again, it's foil, so it will be a bit, could be slippery. So I'll use my tumbo on the back here. Hopefully. It won't show through. Try and leave a similar margin around the edges and the bottom. And then this will go over the top there. There we are. And that is going to go. On the one side to the other. Gonna, it will just, this is slightly wider than the card, so I will just snip that piece off. <laughs> and I'll snip the edge of the card off at the same time. <laughs> right, <laughs> that's fine. That's okay. And that's going to go, right, these are going to go next. So want that to be in the middle and then those are going to come over the top of that like that and then that will go on top so they need to come down a bit more so if I start that off put that there and those either side to come to the top of that I think that would be about right, and then that will go over the top there. Yeah, so I think that looks okay. Right, so I'm going to put this down. I mean, I don't need it to be that long. I can cut some, no, I'm not going to cut it off. <laughs> I nearly did, but I'm not going to because this is going to come down a bit further, and I want to know exactly where it's coming to. So that's for my first piece and that's going to go flat on there up to that band that goes across. Let's hope that's just about in the middle. There, like that. Then I'm going to put these on dimensionals. They're going to go either side. Let's find some dimensionals. There we go. Could use some of these up first. So we got let's cut some pieces up there. Right. So one, two, three, and Oops, whatever that was. Four. I'll do the 
the same thing on this one. Yep, that'll do. Um, oh, doesn't want to come up. Right, one and then two. And we'll put this about here and put this one up. Come off there and put that one over here. Now, one in the middle. I put that where I want it to go, about there. I put one in the middle there, and then one here, one here, and one there. I might even put that onto two because there's slightly more um, bulk underneath the other one so that should fit over the top so let's take these off a minute two three four and that way <laughs> there we go and that ooh, is showing <laughs> That to be around about there. So there we go. So there's two there, and that thicker one is at the top, the double layer, and that one, so that they stand up on top of that. So that's my the outside of my card, and I need an envelope. And I might just use some lost lagoon. Actually, thinking about it, I might not. <laughs> Sorry. Um, I'll just use I've got a strip of this. Yeah. Cut a strip of this off, which is one. I'll do a quarter, half an inch strip. I'm going to cut two of them. inch strips of that and I'm going to put one of these down here so I'll just put a, a bead of this if I can get it <laughs> That's a bit of a pain. I might just put a little bit here as well. I'll do that a second. And I'm going to cut that piece off there like that. So that carries over onto the back of my envelope. Just take a little bit of extra interest on there. Managed to get some glue. There we go. Get that off. There we go. So that's on there like that. So that's my piece, that's my envelope done. 
And then on the inside, I'm going to use some Lost Lagoon. I'm going to put this piece along there. Oh, it just fits just the right size. Eee. <laughs> so. There we go. Let's make sure I, oops, get that down straight this time. There we go. And we're going to use this stamp. Oops. Hope your day is a happy one. And I'm going to do this. Oops, with this is going to go. Right. Oh, stamp blocks. There we go. Lost Lagoon Ink. Hope your day is a happy one. Put that in the centre here. There we go. Oh, there we go. Right, I will sort that out, don't worry. And um, we might put, what is that? Yeah. Does that come out? Nope, I don't know what that is from. Uh, well, I will sort that out, but I will put some dimensionals. I've got some, oh, that was before I changed that over. I'm going to use some of these, I think I've got some of them already. Oh, no I can't, they're not available anymore. <laughs> um, pieces aren't either. Oh, well. Maybe. Oh. No, that won't go. Sorry about this. Won't be long. <laughs> uh, given. Trying to find something that will match. Oh, what have we got? These, these will do. Iridescent basic pearls basic jewels. This will do. I'm going to put a couple of these on. They'll be pretty. And use my take a pick tool. We'll put one there, one here, and one. Oops. My, those are my embellishments done. If you wanted, if you you could put some, I've got some um, ribbon. We could put a bow, but I think with the fishtails, you don't really need anything else. And that is my card and envelope done. There we go. That's my card for the card sketch challenge today. Thank you very much for joining me. If you want any of the products that I've used, you can find them in my online shop. So the foiled tartan paper or tartan tartan foil paper DSP is available on as an online exclusive. And the two stamp sets I used, the uh, so Sincere and Everyday Details are both stamp sets that are available. The card stock is available and the iridescent pearls gems are a adhesive backed whatever <laughs> i've forgotten what they're called now but they're available as well okay <laughs> thank you very much for joining me i hope i'll see you again soon and bye for now